Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Brian Watson, and it is a very big pleasure to meet you. Um, well, I have an update. I also, well, two updates, technically. And I've got the mail that I've been waiting since January for. We had ordered something that was already pre-existing on the site, and then pre-ordered some things, and they didn't want to... They waited to send everything to me, which is fine. I'm happy. Um, eh, at least I was. Okay, so first little update. These are my dad's. We are getting the office space set up. I have one wall f that I'm getting ready to, like, I'm currently in the process of putting foam up. It's out of tape. This is my second roll of tape. And there's 788, a dot, 788 uh, at Walmart. Not sponsored nor affiliated. Um, now, on to the big major update. If you haven't noticed, I don't have my cat with me. Um, anybody in my live streams on my, like, where I'm gaming on my PS5 know that I have a cat. My cat, he's a little tuxedo black and white cat. And he is the sweetest, darndest thing. I love him to bits. Um, you could see in my previous live streams that he is such a sweet boy. His name is Wumos. He came to me when I was in my darkest days and just lit up my life. I grew very attached to him. And he grew very attached to me. Even though I, was, I still live with my parents, my mom and my dad. Um, I pay rent, I pay my own phone bill and everything, um, and, I, like, I take care of my cat, I have a job, and everything. Um, anywho, so, my, on May 1st, my cat was acting a little strange. Not his normal behavior, because he's very affectionate. The moment I wake up, he's at my door meowing for me and I go see what he needs and stuff like that he could be out of food he could be out of water or he could just want love and attention which is usually him um but when he when I got up and he wasn't at my door uh I knew something was a little off because it's my day off I can spend all day with my cat no problem um, he was, he wasn't, like I said, he wasn't himself. He was meowing, he was, he was meowing. He wasn't meowing like a normal cat. He was, like, howling in pain, like a cat howl. Um, he was also growling. He was also hissing. He hissed at me, he hissed at my dad, he hissed at my mom. He doesn't hiss if he know, like, if I pick him up and hold him too long or give him love, wait, too much love, he'll meow at me and let me know, like, I've had enough and I will put him down and let him be. He wasn't running, he wasn't running around, he wasn't following me around, he wasn't even, um, plopping himself down in the middle of the floor mm -mm. he was mostly hiding and that's odd so after my mom and i had ran a little bit of errands on wednesday um i came home and i couldn't find him and shook a bag of treats he didn't come running when i had looked for him i found him in daddy's bed i also found him a little a little bit curled on the corner of my parents's bed underneath where their blankets are like he was on the floor the blanket was over top of him and he was in a corner curled up um and like he wasn't even under the table he wasn't on the chair like the kitchen chairs he wasn't in the chairs at all he, and he wasn't even in here. Usually, 
the windows open. Well, the window's not open, but usually the curtains will be open, the blinds will be open, and he'll be sitting up at the sill just outside watching birdies, mimicking the little birdies. That's when I knew something was wrong. So my mom and I had ran out, grabbed a pet carrier for, from my sister because she has five, six cats in her house. Um, and... Lumos didn't go running into the carrier like he would. Like, when I first got him uh, neutered and um, and got his rabies shots and everything up to date, he didn't go running. I He was on the windowsill in the kitchen because where my parents... Because my parents have on the floor... The dog, Boomer's bowl, the water bowl for the dogs. Dottie has her own separate bowl and Lumos has his own separate water bowl. In the corner here past the dresser is like a little setup area for my cat away from the dogs. It's up high and I usually keep his food there. His own food and stuff like that. Because I have encountered where the Dogs would eat Lumos's food. It's not meant for dogs. Anyhow, um, so when I picked him up, because I was going to try and coax him into the carrier, he was meowing at me. He was in pain, or at least I figured he was in pain at this point. When I picked him up, my whole entire arm was wet. My left arm. Because I usually have him sitting on my left shoulder. His, my entire left arm was wet. So I looked on the sill where he was sitting. And there was a little bit of blood and like clump of water or something. It wasn't urine. It was blood and water mixed. Panicked. I freaked out. I was sobbing. I was crying. I was so upset. I, I didn't know what to do. He was my baby. He's my baby. He will always be my baby. And see, and hearing him in pain and seeing him in pain just upset me. So I called my mom because she was outside waiting so we can take Lumos to the animal hospital and stuff like that. Well, um, and my mom couldn't understand me. But to me, I sounded normal. But to her, I probably was in hysterics, crying, sobbing, and just blubbering. So my mom says she's coming in, and we hung up. She comes in, and I'm freaking out. And I'm telling my mom, there's blood, he's bleeding, I don't know where he's bleeding, but he's bleeding. And so my mom called up my sister, my sister was like, grab a blanket, wrap him up in it, and force him in the carrier. Because his, like his paw, like he would put his paws on the edges of the carrier and not want to go in. And I was trying to put him head first. So I didn't grab a blanket. I grabbed a towel from my linen closet out there and wrapped him up the best I could. I had to do it like two, three times. I wasn't afraid that he was going to scratch me. I was afraid of hurting him. I've never been once afraid of my cat. Did he scratch me? Yes. But was I scared of him? No, because I know he's not like that. Um... So after that, um, I was able to get him in the carrier and we took him to the nearest pet hospital, which is like 10 miles away, less than 10 minutes away. Um, so I get there, I go to the receptionist and I'm like, my cat's bleeding. I don't know where he's bleeding, but he's in pain. He's hissing, he's growling, he's meowing, and I, I don't know what to do please can you help him i sat in the waiting room for like an hour i understand that the, there was only one vet 
and that vet owned the hospital, uh, the pet hospital, and so I was patient, I was rubbing, like, he was still in the carrier, I was rubbing the side of the carrier closest to his body, so he knows, like, I'm here, I love you, I'm gonna keep you safe the best I can, um, well, it turns out he had a UTI, yay! That freaked me out so bad. Like, I took care of this cat. He hadn't had a, any sort of urinary problem before. When I heard that, I was like, what did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Did I give him the wrong food? Was there a recall on the food and I didn't know about it? Because I tried to pay attention to the recalls. Um, but... I had to take him home. I couldn't afford all 14 of the prescription pills that they had. They initially wanted to give me. But the vet was very kind and gave me at least two pills to take home. Give him one in the morning and one in... Give him one in the evening and one in the morning. I f- fucked up. At, I fucked up the first pill. Because I... Admittedly, at this point, I was afraid that he would bite me because he was in pain. I didn't know how he would react. Well, he didn't. The second pill, I apparently I've learned from a friend of mine that I work with who used to work at a veterinary clinic as um as an assistant. You are supposed to put your fingers right between the jaws to force his, their mouths open and then put the pill as close to the back of their tongue as possible. Now, I didn't know YouTube video about that. I'm just like, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to be afraid. I want my pet to feel better. I want my baby boy to feel better. And, yes, May 2nd. I got up super early. I oh, could hardly sleep. I slept in this room. I slept in this office because I had him in his bed on a blanket, curled, and I just wanted him to know, like, I'm here if you need me. Just come get me, right? Well, of course, he's a cat. He doesn't do much. Or he doesn't understand that. So I was laying here. Even though we have a futon, it's against the wall. And an air mattress. I was laying here in a makeshift bed, sleeping. Or doing the best I can to sleep. I hurt my back, but worth it. So, when I got up in the morning at about 6 o'clock, I got ready, got dressed. And I waited for my mom to get dressed so she could take me to the animal hospital fact i do not have my license um but my cat like i had to do the same thing again i had to wrap him in the blanket force him into the carrier and then we took him to the hospital now he had thrown up i cleaned it up not once but twice um I also made sure that he was comfy cozies as much as possible. And they took him in at about 9 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't want to sit around to wait. So I went home, got ready for work because I put on my ripped jeans. And um, my ripped jeans, which is not appropriate for work. Um, at least at my job. So I. So I waited. And waited. No news. And I was trying to remind myself. No news was good news. From 9am to. 2 o'clock. He was in. Surgery. Um. Now. They did do blood work on him. And. I had to. Ask my sister to help pay for it. And I am just lucky that my 
brother-in-law and my sister love me very dearly and they know how how much I love my cat I'm trying not to cry I've been crying on and off for the past few days um so yeah um when I got like I had to go to work at two I go to work I'm not really in work space I'm like in the work mindset I was my brain was up in space worried about my cat I was thinking about my cat constantly throughout the day um at about 2 20 in the evening I got a call saying he's out of surgery he um his potassium levels were way too high his blood levels were way too high higher than normal like I think she even said like it broke the machine um, then, um, they had to put a catheter in him, they also had to put an IV drip in him, I forget what kind of IV, but it was supposed to help lower his potassium levels, and so I was like, great, he's good, and everything, and so, I worked as normally as I can, but I'm still trying to keep myself from crying, because growing up, I didn't have the best mental health, and I admit that I would self, um, self-deprecate a lot, I would say in a joking manner, but in the back of my mind, I would be like, to me, it would be true. I try not to be like that anymore. I try to be in a better mind space. Um, but when I had been told he had a severe UTI, I wondered what did I do wrong. I did everything I could to keep him as healthy as possible. I gave him lots of love, affection, food, water, and like... He was abandoned. Of course I'm going to care for him. At least he knows he has a home. (laughs) And, like, admittedly one of my friends made a terrible joke that triggered me. And I know, like I said, I know he meant it in a joking joking manner. But to me, it was like, hit me like, did I actually do something wrong? Am I to blame for my cat? getting a UTI, but, um, no, my sister, um, my niece, one of my nieces had told my mom, my sister, when one of her cats got a UTI, that it's normal in male cats to get UTIs, um, like, she was telling me, and then my co-worker also, who, like I said previously, had been a vet tech before or a vet assistant she also was telling me it's normal for male cats to get a uti but three years three years i've had them almost four four coming up in november and not a single uti and now he's got issues it's like um so today at about 11 o'clock they told me like if he can pee by himself, because they took out the catheter, they also took out the IV drip, that if he can pee by himself that day, then I can take him home. Suffice to say, it did not happen. And I understand, like, he's still not feeling good at and stuff, but, um, him just, he, they, the doctor, the vet had um, was calling me periodically while I was at work um, because I had to work f- 2 to 11 um, because I visited my cat today I got to see him he's got the cone around him um, and he's he was curled up in the end at the end of the kennel in the corner and I was like just go and I was just telling him just go to the bathroom you can do it. I know you want to go home. Just do it. Come on. 
He didn't like when I pet his main body, but the moment I started scratching underneath his ears and his chin, odd smile came. His little kitty smile. Oh, I love it. Um, but at 2 o'clock, I got an update that he, he still didn't pee by himself. So they're going to just monitor him a little bit more and call me again if anything does happen. Like if, if he does pee or if he doesn't pee. So 3 o'clock rolls about and... Nope, still no pee, so they would have to reinsert the catheter and operate on him again. And so from 3 to 4, that's what happened. He got the catheter reinserted, but they did check his potassium levels and they were normal. Thank God. But um, because Saturday and Sunday they are closed, I won't be able to see my cat. And hopefully my cat will be better by monday evening because i want my cat home it's weird not having my cat his favorite thing in the world like if i could i tend to get ice and put it in my circle bottle not sponsored nor affiliated and he'll be right at right by me as i'm getting the ice wanting ice uh and I miss him just plopping randomly. I miss him putting his paws up on my chair, wanting me to hold him and cuddle him. <sighs> I've been trying not to cry all day. So hopefully he'll be better by Monday. Or at least by tomorrow. But I won't be able to get him till Monday. Uh, so... With that update out of the way, I see how long I've been recording. Um, but I'm just going to do this cute little post. This cute little mail. Alright, I have to move my microphone. So, Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel, created by Fibsy Pop, who is fantastic. I love her to bits. Sadly, these cartoons are not made for children. Like, not even for Adult Swim, or Nick at Night, or Comedy Central. That's how bad they are. Okay, but it's a good kind of bad. Hell of a Boss is on YouTube for free, so you guys can go watch it. I'm not sponsored nor affiliated by either companies or by Vivzy. I'm just doing this because I love this show. Shows. Has been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. No, they both take place in hell. Or, a has been hotel takes place in Pentagram City, and has hell of a boss takes place in multitude of the rings, cause there's like seven rings, and has been hotel is in Pentagram City on the Pride Ring. Well, hell of a boss takes place in other rings, in the other six rings. Sinners can't move to any other ones. Now onto the package. I'm sorry. Um, with this, I had. January 31st, I had pre-ordered two packs of trading cards. 16, uh, not 16, $6 a pop. But I get 10 cards with one guarantee holographic card. Sorry, I, I get uncomfortable in this chair. This chair sucks. Um, so I also did get all four pins. I got my Baggie, my Angel Dust, my Charlie, and my Alistair. I love... Angel Dust is my absolute favorite character from Has Been Hotel. Because I can relate to him. Uh, I had a traumatizing past. And it kind of affected me to this present day. And I blame one person and one person only for it. Um... So yeah, with this, I'm going to open it up. I've been, I couldn't, I will admit, when I saw that it was delivered, I couldn't get excited about it, because my cat was still at the hospital, but now that, I'm just going to do it. But now that 
I'm home and stuff like that. I can get a little bit excited. So, that is my order receipt. So, I was expecting them to be all together. Okay, so, I'm going to do the trading cards last. Um, but I am going to dig around. I got, <laughs> look at the baggy pin. <laughs> love baggy. Baggy. And I'm a pin collector. I love collecting pins. Let's see what's up next. Oh, look, it's Alistair. The radio demon himself. The secret word. My mom makes a great jambalaya. Oh, that's a trading card. I don't want trading cards yet. Okay, so I want this one. Charlie! Um, I identify myself as nifty when it comes to these characters. Um, mostly because I am chaotic. Which is why I changed my uh, YouTube handle to Quiet Chaos 1996. Uh, which, fun fact, is my birth year. Yay! Um, so last should be Angel Dust. <laughs> Don't judge. Yeah, he's my favorite. And when I had seen the Has Been Hotel originally, the pilot on YouTube, I was like, this is me. <gasps> okay, so look at these beautiful packs. Like I said, I got two. Now there's supposed to be ten. Ten cards in each pack. And it's first edition. <laughs> they are sold out on their website. You can sign up for their mailing mailing list to get uh, notified for the next, for the second editions, I think. Um, but yeah. So. This is, I'm just going to show all my trash in here. So, oh, okay. Apparently, it was a restock. Hold on. Apparently, I got a restock. However, okay, that explains how, um, that explains how some people who had gone to conventions were showing Fizzy and the cast their trading cards. And that explains it, because apparently the one that I have is restock, but they are first edition still. So, without further ado, I'm going to open one. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking for Angel Dust, Angel Dust Tommy Gun, um, or Squirt Gun, or whatever you want to call it, and Nifty. Nifty is another one, and Charlie. I would accept Charlie. Oh, and Lucifer. Oh, I love Lucifer. But there is three secret rares. And they are Fat Nuggets. Kiki, who is the cat slash key in Has Been Hotel. You have to be eight, 16 or 8. Well, one episode is 18 years or older to watch uh, the show as well as Hell of a Boss. Um, and then the third one is Lilith. I really want the Lilith card. I love it. I've, when I had discovered about Lilith, I was so excited. Okay, so first up. Ooh, 18 out of 50. So this is one of the has -been hotels. Because there is three different hotels. So apparently this one um, spoilers, if you haven't seen the show, is the end of episode eight. Now, there is eight episodes on Amazon Prime, which is where one through eight is, and then the pilot is on, um, is on, uh, YouTube. So, let's see what we get for number, <gasps> Ooh, okay, apparently, <laughs> I got the second, uh, has been hotel. Now, this is the one that's from the pilot and from most of the show. Um, that's cool. I got two Hasman Hotels. Nice. Okay, so next up. <gasps> yes, I got my card. Yes. Oh, he is. 
fantastic. I love him. He's my absolute favorite. And the fact I pulled him. Yes. I love. Oh. He's. Okay. Here's the. Here's the holographic. <gasps> They're benches. He's shiny. He's shiny. Oh. He's another one of my favorite characters. Um. Because he's a snake. I. Uh, for those of you who don't know. When I was a kid. I hated snakes. I really, really, really hated snakes. However, I was terrified of them because everybody was telling me, like, snakes are dangerous. Don't go near snakes and all of that. So I just developed an irrational fear of snakes. But then as I got older and um, watched uh, Super Mary or Mary, uh, Mary Making It, who was once on YouTube. She doesn't do YouTube anymore. Uh, she used to do a lot of family vlogs, and that's disappointing um and she used to do like uh cosplays and stuff she did a fantastic job like she got snakes because she got snakes they are like the little mini ball pythons snakes watching her around the snakes kind of made me like snakes a little bit more and fell in love with them so, yeah. I got the egg boys to go with my serpentious. Yes. Oh, I can't. Oh, I cannot. Okay. And I did promise Becca, like, if I have a spare Angel Dust card, she can have it. But that's only if I don't get a holographic Angel Dust. Oh, Susan. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I, I do like Susan. Susan's a funny character. Alright, so I have four more cards in this pack left. And, ooh, the parlor. Interesting. I like that. And, <laughs> Alistair's little radio right there on the table. Um, that's cool. Okay. Um, <gasps> I got Razzle and Dazzle. Oh. I'm gonna miss Dazzle. Dazzle in episode or season two. It's been confirmed that there is a season two, so I'm excited. Ah, I got Serpentius' ray gun to go with Serpentius and the Egg Boys. Funny. Now, the Heaven Embassy. Interesting. So this changed when it was in the um in the show, like from the pilot to the actual show. This was once, like, a count, just a countdown to the extermination. Now it's the Heaven Embassy, which is cool. Um, so I got two has Hotels. Uh, Susan, Razzle, and Dazzle, Serpentius, and Raygun, the Egg Boys, Serpentius as a Shiny, and Angel Dust. I'm gonna put Angel on top. And I'm gonna put it, put them back in here. So, that is pack number one. Oh, I can't wait to tell Becca. Oh, yes. Um, so, trading card number two. Pack number two. I feel very lucky because he, he may be a common, but he like, he's my faves. Okay, so first up, Adam's guitar. Fuck you, Adam. You can barely see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, here is Adam's guitar. First man, Adam. Adam, first man, come to die. I got Angel's Tommy gun to go with Angel. <laughs> that makes me happy. So I did get the two most ones I wanted. All right. So Carmilla Carmine. Yes, she's so cool. She's an an angelic arm stealer. Ooh, what's shiny? I got Sir Punches' ray on as a shiny. Eh, I'm kind of complaining, but also not complaining because it's like, eh, it's a common. Uh, I kind of expected it, but the fact that it's shiny, I'm going to keep it anyways. Mimsy Darling. Uh, Mimsy is a, one of those weird characters. The shrunken head keychain that Charlie gives to Vaggy after episode seven. Yeah, seven. 
Alright, so, I got velvet. Yes, I love velvet. Velvet, velvet box and Valentino are the V's of Husband Hotel. They are overlords, but also not part of the overlords, because they kind of are nasty on their own. Um, but yeah, Velvet's the fashion designer, and she's so cool. Katie Killjoy, played by Brandon Rogers, who also does, um, Blitzo's voice, or Blitz's voice, sorry. And I got Tom Trench to go with Katie Killjoy, awesome sauce, cool. <laughs> he, she is busy shoving him. <laughs> I love that. Alright, last card, because I have... Yeah. Yeah, most card. Ooh, what the? That was upside out. Uh, and then I got Heaven's Courthouse. Cool. So I haven't gotten Adam yet. Fine and dandy. But that is so cool. I got he <laughs> got Angel Dust on the first go. Oh, yes. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Okay, so I'm gonna put these together. Um. I might put Velvet on top, and then Serpent is already got underneath. Alright, so, with that said, I am going to end this video. I hope you guys very much enjoyed it, and, um, I will see you all in the next one. Ah! And I will update you on how Lumos is doing when, when, it, it, when he comes home, okay? Toodles, love you all, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.